Hello, beloved. Welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. To those keen or interested, I do offer personal readings. And if you want to book me for a personal reading, you'll find my email listed in the description box below. This will be your message from the divine. Okay, this will be your message from the divine. I'm grateful for your time. Without further ado, let us tap into this energy. Let us tap into this reading. Let us tap into this message. Okay. So I was channeling an analogy, a reference point, a case study, an example. Um, I was being shown a prophetic vision of a cheerleader squad. Okay. And within this cheerleader squad, there's the one in the forefront and the others behind the one in the forefront. Okay. So the one that rules or leads or reigns or the one that is depicted as supreme or walks in image of supremacy okay so this is the energy that i'm channeling here so i'm channeling that there's a comic woman okay who has fallen into a dark direction or dark compass or dark aura or a dark mind a dark heart energy and this woman is in a state of being or a predicament, a circumstance, a situation where they want you to lead their life or, or um, be in the forefront of their life or rule over their life or they want you to, to be a kingdom and they're a part of your, your, your throne or your crown energy, okay? So how I'm channeling it is this is a woman that was spreading a lot of bad rumors about you but spreading bad rumors about you, not wanting you to be loved or not wanting you to be seen in loving energy, okay? This is a woman that wanted to manipulate people to not believe that you are who you are by way of bad reputation, bad news, or falsifying a reputation, falsifying news, um, wanting you to be seen as someone who wears a false mask, not someone of high honor or official person energy, okay? But you are a queen of cups, somebody that is loved fully, even by a stranger. Like you have the charm of somebody who um, has Cupid's arrow attached to them by way of the Holy Spirit energy. Okay, so you are loved or you are love or you are Venus. Okay, the planet of love. So this person didn't want this for you. Okay, but this is somebody that doesn't understand that life doesn't revolve around their own childishness or their own immaturity or their own insecurity of who they want another person to be, which is you. Okay, somebody is delusional here. This is a woman that's been delusional in their life for a very long time. And it's not changing. It's becoming worse. This delusion energy, we have the Ten of Wands to so the Wheel of Fortune reversed. This woman is becoming more and more delusional by the day, by the night, by the hour, by the second, by the minute, okay? This is a woman who they spent too much time invested and, in, you know, guaranteed some form of superstar sensation upon the public eye of specific groups or a specific group or collaboration of, of women. This is a woman that wanted to be a queen bee, okay, or an empress, okay? A woman that wanted to be seen as the one that everyone gets advice from. Not a day goes by where her phone is not, you know, being blown up by all these text messages and calls by these other women um, who see her as this anointed one or, or this, you know, crowned one, okay? Or this high value woman, okay? But that's the energy that you're in is what I'm seeing here. That's the energy you live in or live by. I'm hearing code, key, energy, okay, or a way of living. This woman tries so hard to be something she's not to the point where they've tried and failed. We have the devil reversed here. So in her efforts to put you down or ruin you, she made this group of women or these groups of women gravitate towards you like troops waiting to be under your command or waiting to be under your word or waiting to be under your arm or hand, okay? These are women that want you to control them or be in a controlling position over their life. These are women that, you know, gravitate towards the ground you walk on in, a, in, a, in an energy of um, praise, idolization here, okay? 
her wanting you to be sabotaged actually made these women fall in love with your energy she was talking about you laughing but then these women were laughing at her and talking about her they were only pretending and acting to be against you but they've always wanted to be on your side and she's the real enemy even to her own self we have the five of swords to the page of wands here very happy to spread lies about another person very happy to be in a position to be the one to be listened to with the lies but now they wish they never even said anything about you they wish they never even claimed to know whatever it is that they were speaking someone's in a position that they wish they never found themselves in this delusion that they've been walking with or living with or coping with or it's been it's been haunting them it's becoming an illness okay or a disorder or a disturbance or a condition here this is the energy okay this is the energy here it's making this one very unhinged we have the star reversed very deranged, very crazy, very insane, a mad woman energy, okay? Making her want to do things irrationally, impulsively, making her someone that's very dangerous, a menace, a hazard, and making her somebody that deserves some form of psych psychiatric ward evaluation or some form of psychiatric ward analysis, like someone's brain is not functioning properly because of this delusion they've been living with. Or someone's heart is not functioning properly because of this delusion they've been living with. This woman is not well. They're not okay. They're not sane. Or they're not... Someone's not fine, okay? This is a woman that was always dreaming and, and wishing and fantasizing and desiring your downfall. Okay? Ruining you. Standing in the way of who you are meant to be. But what ended up happening is she became a true fangirl. And she... And the people she tried to turn against you are now the very same people that wish to be in your life, your world and reality, attached to your identity and living in your energy and experiencing you as a person. Okay, we have the Seven of Cups reversed here. This woman learns things late or not at all. They're trapped in a karmic cycle of repeating the same old mistakes almost like a curse or an underdeveloped identity like this woman can't change they can't evolve they can't harness um energy that produces shift okay or transformation or just a transition of newness or fresh new beginning a fresh start like this woman is stuck trapped and bound to an energy she can't release okay she this is a woman that the lies that they've told have caught up to them. Like she has to answer or take accountability or she has to provide evidence or truth behind her big mouth. Okay, we have the Queen of Pentacles reversed. This is a woman that was studying your body for years, your, your mind for years, your heart for years, studying your movements, studying your thought process or your emotional understanding. Like this is a woman that was devoted, invested, committed, and very, very, very obsessed with your energy and fixated to the point of utter sickness, okay? Utter sickness. This is the energy here. We got the Queen of Pentacles reversed. This woman in her world life and reality is seen as somebody that will do anything for attention or to be noticed or to be validated or acknowledged in a particular manner, okay? We have the King of Pentacles reversed. She hates the fact that you don't need to try to be anything outside of what you already naturally are. You are an original, okay? You don't need to, you don't need to, you are an authentic person. You are real. You don't need to do anything because you naturally are who you are, okay? This is a woman that can't accept that about herself, that she has to do the unspeakable, even to just be seen in a, in a way of value or respect, or even just to be seen in a way of love or kindness or in a way of care, compassion, and empathy from other people. This is a woman that emotionally manipulates people or mentally tries to poison people for them to see her in a particular way but now that is all 
caught up to her. She's being see- seen as someone who can't be taken seriously. Like, even if she says foul things or is acting in a foul manner or projects foul emotions and thoughts, she's just being seen as delusional. And at this point, people are starting to be concerned about her future because they can see her spiraling out of control. We have the high priestess reversed. They can see that this woman has some form of condition or illness or disorder or some form of disturbance energy. And even the people around her try to connect with her in order for her to be better. We have the two of pentacles reversed, the eight of wands reversed, and the king of swords reversed. They end up trying to, you know, help her, but they regret it at the end of the day because of how it works out for them. Even if they try, it always ends up as something they regret doing. Like, why did I even try with this person? Like, they regret even looking at her as somebody to to want to help because of who she really is inside. It always comes out, okay? Even if at some point they love her, at some point they respect her, they see her as this perfect human being, over time, the lies, you know, they, this woman has to regurgitate the lies. This woman has to, it's like her false identity comes out or her false mask, it falls off. Or well, this false illusion ends up being something that she she regrets attaching her identity to, okay? Whoever this woman is has been stalking your life for a long time, okay? Wondering what you eat, where you go, who you are surrounded by, what you do, what you like, what you don't like, how you dress, what you are interested in, what you dislike. We have the temperance, the three of cups reversed. This is a woman that they deeply invested and, you know, guaranteed this delusional perspective of who you are in their brain, but they have no presence in the mind or in their heart, but their heart is as cold as ice or as still as stone, okay? This woman is not well. Um, something is wrong with them, okay? There's a problem here. There's an issue. There's a situation. There's a circumstance. There's a predicament here that this woman is trapped in, stuck in. Okay, there's some form of illusion that they now can't break free from. Okay, we have the four of wands reversed. We have the five of cups reversed here. This woman is tired of, you know, having to convince other people. No, this is who she is. No, don't believe what you hear or don't believe what you see. I have exclusive evidence or I have particular news about her that no one else knows. No, see her like this instead. No, that's not true. I know this instead. This is the truth. Like this woman is tired of having to convince people. The more they do this, the more delusional they become, the more crazy, deranged, unhinged that they become, the more of a mad woman they become. This is a woman that needs some form of psychiatric evaluation or psych ward analysis. Like they need to, they need help, okay? They want to be queen B so bad. They want to be in the forefront so bad. They want to be the leader so bad. They want to rule so bad. They want a kingdom so bad. They want a crown so bad. They want a throne so bad. Like this woman is deeply in a rabbit hole of a specific fantasy or a kind, a type of a fantasy, a breed of a fantasy, a desire, an outcome that they just don't want to let go of, even if they see that it's something that's sabotaging their whole entire reality as they know it. The whole entire world as they know it, they see it crumbling down, but they still don't want to back down from whatever this is that is based on delusional energy. This woman's life is literally falling apart and they literally are watching it. They don't know what to do about it. They're running out of ideas, creative things to say, to lie about. They're running out of things to, to, to attach themselves to by way of being seen as this lovable person that's sweet, fun, caring, you know, funny. Like this woman is tired of having to live this lie while you live in your truth. You living in your truth is this woman's karma. I repeat, you living in your truth is this woman's karma. She wakes up every day hating herself because you exist, because she knows you are living proof of her insanity. You are living proof of her craziness. You are living proof of her unstable, imbalanced self. You are living proof of her lies. You are living proof of the illusion. You are living proof of what she's been trying to, to hide behind this mask this, this falseness, okay? Oh. 
all the things that she has said are backfiring. All the actions she has taken are backfiring. People are just finding it hard to avoid this woman because she's very, very, very codependent and attached to the people that she has kept around her by way of wanting slaves or wanting, you know, people to to gravitate towards her towards her only. Okay. She tried to build slaves in these people, but that cycle has ended of her thinking that she's getting away with it. And whoever is around her right now, they already see the illusion. They're just choosing to live in it. But the truth is, everyone that she tries to turn against you wants to be your friend or wants you to be their Regina George from Mean Girls, the movie. Um, I'm being called to also name the movie Drawbreaker. Okay, tap in the movie Bring It On, the cheerleader, cheerleader squad energy. Take that how it applies for a reality. Okay, these women want you to, to rule or be a kingdom, be the throne, be the crown seater or the throne seater, the crown, the crown wearer. Yeah, this woman, they're tired of this woman being a skin wearer, a skin walker, having no identity of her own, a mimic, a clone. Okay, this is the energy here, Five of Pentacles reverse. She has nothing to offer, no creativity, you know, no ideas, no fluidity of thoughts and emotions that actually manifest into reality. They're just a thief of time and resources and energy. Okay, this woman is no one to take seriously, like, at all. There's something deeply wrong with her, okay? She likes to pretend that she's this sweet, kind person, but she's not a sweetheart. She's the devil, or she's a demon, okay? A walking... um. A walking devil energy is what I'm seeing here. It's all coming back to her or it's all reversing unto her. The adverse effect is active in her life, world, and reality. You know, the universe is returning all this woman's bad karma. It's falling unto her life and her identity. She can't hide it. Like, it's loud karma, the type of karma where even if you do stay behind the scenes, everybody will know that you're going through something. Something very embarrassing, humiliating, and and shameful, okay? While you, on the other hand, are in your, your purpose or in your fate, in your destiny. And she's still wanting a position of life that isn't really a part of who she, she is. Like, it's not even her original energy. We have the emperor reverse to the justice. She keeps wanting to falsify her own identity so bad. She keeps wanting to be somebody else so bad. She keeps wanting... A specific identity so bad like this woman goes so deep into a rabbit hole of obsession when it comes to you that she wonders how men get when you are you know sleeping with them or being sexually active sexual intercourse energy you know your facial expressions and what men are drawn to when they talk to you you know how she would look at men with your eyes if she was in your body or how she would wear her you know your clothes if she was in your body in your skin like something's deeply disturbed with this woman. There's a condition, an illness, a disorder here. Something's wrong. There's a problem and an issue here. This is the energy here when it comes to this woman. And all these other women that want to enter your world life and reality are the same women she tried to turn against you. But they look at you as wish fulfillment or dream come true or the woman of all women, the Ten of Cups energy, okay? They look at you as a an empress or woman to respect. A woman of value, dignity, integrity, uh, morals, traditions, and ethics. Or a woman that is who she is despite what is said or what is done unto her. Okay, they all respect you. They all wish that this woman could just stay away from them because they feel guilty by, you know, being associated with her. This is the energy, okay? <clears throat> These are women that have a lot to say to you about this woman. This woman's worst nightmare or worst fear is you being loved by these people that she tries to turn against you these other women here this group of women or these groups of women she could be the type to go around spreading rumors to different groups of women about you or just a specific group take it out applies for a reality but this is what she does she's an opportunist okay who plays a lot of mind games and always ends up betrayed by her own lies and now her own lies are what she's living and she can't unravel or unwind the spiral of deceit okay she's worn a mask of deception for so long that she can't see a way out of it we have the three of wands reversed here even the people around her feel sorry for her it's not even about 
what's going on. It's about the lengths or the extent that she went to be something she's not. They can't believe it. They can't believe it. It's like, if you can do this, to have this, what else are you capable of? And those that she has convinced that she's a sweetheart, slowly things will you know, unravel themselves and they will also see the truth. This woman is the kind of woman that will end up in a web of lies that she'll probably perish in or die in or unalive herself in because it's a lot. <clears throat> she said a lot. This is a, a, a word witch energy or a manipulator of words using, you know, the emotions and the and the hearts of people, the minds and the thoughts of people. She gets worried every time she's around this one and that one. Like, oh, I have to maintain this lie. One, I said this and I spoke it like this and this tone, this pitch, this facial expression, this body language. I have to upkeep it. I have to, you know, provide appearances. And mm, this woman goes through a lot, beloved, just to be something she's not or just to make you out to be someone you're not. But you are in your Ten of Pentacles here. All your wishes and dreams and fantasies and desires are in alignment with your purpose, your destiny and fate. And you will receive while hers are blocked. Okay, this woman has no capacity or manifestation powers or womanhood energy to be able to receive any blessings or favor. She's bound to some form of curse of being a false illusion of a woman because there's nothing real she can produce in her fertility as a womanhood energy. It's not about physical, it's about emotional, mental. She's not in tune, in sync with her own self, okay? While you are an empress, this woman's going to spend a lot of her life crying that she's not you or not in your skin. She's going to spend a lot of her life hating herself, a lot of her life in her emotions and thoughts about herself because she's not you. She's going to spend a lot of her life in hate towards you okay because she's not you this is the energy here repeating the same old mistakes being stuck in a cycle that she won't break free from because in all actual reality this obsession is out of this world this obsession is something to be evaluated and addressed even by you or this obsession is something to really look into or study or observe okay because who does this just to be another person or just to make someone not being just to make someone not be looked at as who they are. This woman is afraid of you. This this type of fear is the type of fear that makes you stutter. Okay, the type of fear that makes you want to urinate yourself or want to, you know, release feces onto your onto your own self. This is the type of fear that makes this woman not be able to sleep. It produces paranoia, insomnia, anxiety, anxiousness. This is the type of fear that produces loss of appetite as well. When she's around these women, they all look at her at first as someone to listen to but now they all look at her as someone to avoid and they're just trying to be good people and you know break it off easy or just trying to keep her around hoping that she lets this obsession go but it's getting worse by the day she finds something new to say and you know creatively to just lie she can't stand the thought of you being happy and actually healthy in your world life and reality and her just being a nobody or a no a no brainer okay or something to not even take note of okay your weight your <clears throat> your name holds weight this woman is very comic okay there's nothing about her that is high vibrational high frequency high wavelength she tries to be this all-seeing person or all loved person or all praised person but everyone looks her as looks at her as very delusional very sickly okay they treat her as someone to you know like no don't say that around her she's gonna snap or don't be like that around her she's gonna she's gonna say you know she's gonna do something act in a certain type of way her emotions and thoughts they very concerned because she's very fragile she likes to be taken care of by the people around her um, even though they don't do it out of a place of care, they do it out of a place of concern about not being attached to what she'll do to herself. Like, no, I don't want to, like, feel bad. Let me just do it. Or I don't want to feel bad. Let me just say it. I don't want to, you know, be the reason. So let me just act like this.
even in the worst circumstance this woman can find herself in, her first thought and emotion will be, no, I need to be in her body. I need to live her life world in reality. I need to be in her skin. I need to be her. Even if life is looking at her and towering, falling apart, crumbling her world, her reality, she will always attach herself to you. She'll never not stalk you. We have the page of souls reversed. Tries to act like she doesn't see, but she's the one, first one to, to be looking. Tries to act like she doesn't notice, but she's the first one to take note, okay? And everyone is tired of the lies. They see it, and it's very scary, beloved. Imagine someone lying to the point where they say very personal things that even the people close to you will never reveal. So how would they know if they're not even in your life world in reality? Like lies that make these people look at each other, these girls, these women look at each other like, but then they try to act like they believe them because they don't want this person to lose it, even though they're already losing it. This is the type of woman that wanted an army of, of women to, to, to lead, to rule, you know, to be crowned by these women, to be a kingdom, you know? But no one will ever take her seriously and lie. Like this woman, there's nothing to her. You know, we have the Ten of Cups. She tries to, she tries too hard. We have the Magician here. Like this woman that tries too hard. She sits every day and thinks of ways to be something she's not instead of sitting in her natural habitat, which is a bottom feeder, because that is what she manifested unto her own identity. She tries to attach her life to yours, but you don't even live the same life to compare. Like someone is clearly unwell, clearly ill, okay? We have the Six of Swords reversed here to the Ace of Pentacles reversed. Wanting something for someone else that they're not meant to experience doesn't mean that you are someone that is meant to be looked at with respect because you want that person to go through something bad. You are actually just a hater. This is the energy here when it comes to this woman here. Just a hater. And you're going to see all these other women are going to gravitate towards you, try to break the ice, try to connect with you. And they're going to live to see the day they worst nightmare and fear comes true, okay, while you are in your fairy tale, Empress Energy. This is your message. This was your message from the divine, okay? This was your message from the divine. I'm grateful for your time, and I thank you so much for joining me, beloved. To those keen or interested, I do offer personal readings. And if you want to book me for a personal reading, you'll find my email listed in my description box below. I offer, you know, personal readings. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for joining me, beloved. Goodbye.